Well, hey guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So I'm super excited to bring you along for another What You Think Wednesday. I've got um, a couple videos out using these, uh, the salt brock, and I just want to give you a review of what my opinion is. Now, these are heavy. This is the 13 inch round salt rock. It's two inches thick, it weighs 23 pounds, um, and as some of you know, the, when I ordered this, I followed the instructions, you heat it up really slow, and um, let it come up to temperature. 400 degrees is the lowest temperature you wanna cook on this, and always use an oil on it. You never have to wash these. Um, my first one cracked, and it, they're not supposed to crack, and uh, I notified the company, they returned a brand new one to me, and um, just all they needed was email pictures, and so I haven't even got to use this one yet, but I still use the other one out on the grill because the crack, if some of the juices go through the cracks, it's okay, um, it's on the barbecue. So what I wanna tell you about this is, it seasons your food to perfection. Now you're not gonna get a fried sear on something, but it, it honestly, you don't wanna salt your food. Um, you can cook anything from steaks, shrimp, pancakes. Pancakes are amazing on this if you like that sweet and salty. And it honestly, it doesn't make it salty. It just makes it very well seasoned. So it also brines your food. And if you know anything about dry brining, you're basically getting a dry brine while you're cooking it. And that being said, I'm just gonna tell you, I love these. <laughs> I'm so glad that I purchased it, and they come in all different I'll sizes. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can uh, go check out some salt rocks. They've got them in all different shapes and sizes, some a little bit smaller in weight, you know, some are rectangular, some are square. But uh, while you're down there and checking those out, you're gonna come across, most likely, uh, the seasoning egg is what they call it. So it's also Himalayan pink salt, solid Himalayan pink salt, just like this. And they're antimicrobial, so that means you don't have to wash them. You never wash them. You don't want to get them wet or you're going to let the, the salt will decay away on you. you. While they're still hot, scrape off any excess food and you're good to go. Now, this salt rock has been used several times, and I'm going to bring you along here very soon for a roasted chicken. You get this at 400 degrees in your oven. Heat it all the way up, then you're gonna put it in the chicken cavity. And honestly, you're gonna hear it sizzle, you're gonna know it's hot. And then you roast your chicken as usual, and it brines it from the inside out. It's fantastic. And so, and if you stuff any herbs around it, it infuses the whole chicken with the herb flavor as well. So, I highly recommend one of these, if not both of them, in your kitchen repertoire. And I was very disappointed when it cracked right away and then uh, so pleasantly surprised that the company Salt Rocks uh, took care of me and sent me a brand new one with no cost, no shipping, nothing. They didn't want the old one back. So that's why I haven't opened this one yet. But um, if you guys were on the fence about trying one of these, try a small one to begin with. And uh, I'll put a link to something in the description box below and you can check it out. All right, guys, can't wait to see you next time for What You Think Wednesday. And if there's something you want to see, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section, and I'll see if I can put it on the list.